Okay, so just to reiterate, um, on my side, the affirmative side for homeschooling, our points were that homeschooling can inhibit or hinder social interactions. And then also it's not regulated uh, well between the, uh, the states. Um, so going back to how it can hinder social reactions, um, according to uh, middleschool.net, um, at school students learn how to interact with other children and adults appropriately res and, re and appropriately respond to conflict and developing friendships. So if, if children aren't, uh, if they're homeschooled and they choose not to go to public school because of their parents, then they can't have that interaction with um, other students and the adults. So they can't really fit into the real world. They can't, they're not, um, they can't fit because they don't have that socialization with their peers which would be the students and um, the uh, teachers. And then also, um, it's, uh, if a child's at home, they, because they're at home, they can't have that socialization that they're supposed to have in a classroom. And that socialization is different in the public school, and um, different in the public school um, than from socialization at home, if they do get socialization at home. According to uh, homeschoolinkwell.com, in a homeschool, the child is taught in a secluded atmosphere of a home which hinders his or her social <coughs> development. The child grows up without learning how to interact with other people in the society. So it's not to say that children who are homeschooled don't get social, don't get the proper socialization. But if they do, it's not the appropriate uh, amount, or, or it's not the um, appropriate kind, so to speak, because they're not having that interaction with the other uh, children and adults in their class. But to go with that, um, they, the socialization they receive in class is better than homeschool if they're getting that at all. Um, according to examiner.com, a classroom setting for children has many advantages. They are more likely to be challenged and encouraged by other students' curiosity. Schools provide structure and teaching beyond book learning, such as behaviors and following orders, procedures, and instructions. So if they are going to public school, they get all of these benefits, like in terms of the uh, socialization. So they, they have the structure that can ease them into um, a reality, so to speak, because they have that small interactions with the other students, and um, they can't have that when they're homeschooled because it's just their parents, and then. Sometimes it could be their uh, other homeschooled groups, but that's not as, um, that's, um, having socialization in public school is uh, better than having um, the socialization in the uh, homeschool. Um, um, even uh, people that, go to our um, proponents of the um, public school, they believe that uh, children should interact with one another in order to build a real vital, real and vital skills needed in the real world. So that just proves that you need to have interaction within your public school to um, build your socialization for the real world rather than having it for homeschool because it's more closed, it's more, Socialization at home is uh, more, um, it's at a disadvantage because it doesn't, it's not as being open to, you know, the kids that are at school that come from different backgrounds and the adults that um, tell them what to do and have that structure set up for them rather than being at home and having, you know, just your parents home with you and then just meeting like a couple kids.
kids who might be in a homeschool group. Um, and then also, uh, our second claim was that uh, homeschooled uh, children, their educate, uh, homeschooling is not regulated well enough in the United States. And because of that, homeschooling is not um, compatible with um, accredited colleges. So their education is not compatible with the um, school curriculums. And um, according to hslda.org, over half of the states have moderate regulation concerning homeschooling requirements. States such as Oregon and Washington fall under the second highest level of homeschool regulation, are required to submit notification test scores and or professional evaluation of student progress. So, like my partner was saying before, only 45 states, um, I mean, only five states have um, the heavy regulation, which means the other 45 states don't have to, I mean, their regulation isn't as intense. So, that just means that you never know if they're giving their children the right uh, education in terms of following the um, regulations of the state. And then, um, let's see. Also, uh, the states, they have to follow, uh, the regulations that they have to follow, it's based on the Common Core standards. And um, what that is, is um, according to corestandards.org, that's, um, it's an initiative education in the United States that did details what K-12 students should know in English and language arts and mathematics at the end of each grade. So the students that uh, don't fall under the five states that have heavy regulation, you don't know if they're meeting the Common Core um, standards. And so, uh, yeah. I hope I can sort of convince you that, yeah.